Hello guys, today I want to show you how to create admin panel in Laravel. This will be a short 10 minute presentation and I will show you how to do that just with pure Laravel code and with the help of our tool quickadminpanel.com. So let's begin. Option 1 is to create admin panel from scratch with Laravel. How it usually works. First you download Laravel. Now I want to mention here that your steps might be a little different as usual in coding there are a thousand ways to do the same thing so just bear with me I will stick to the usual process how I view it. Maybe yours uh, as I said will be a little different but not too much different. Step one is to create a fresh Laravel project by downloading Laravel. As a result of that you have your fresh Laravel 5 homepage and clean Laravel installation. Step two is to edit your .env file, put your database settings there or any other settings you want. Step three, then we go into database stuff and we migrate the migration files which come uh, by default with Laravel. There are two of them, users and password resets. And here we also run awesome command called make auth which generates views for our authentication process. Login, register, password reminders, and just general layouts. At the end of that, we usually have a pretty clean Laravel uh, project with login and register functions. So that's step three. Step four is probably the most time consuming and the most difficult. So to your login and register uh, mechanism, you have to apply more beautiful, let's say, front end. There are a lot of admin panel front-end themes available, both free and paid. You can find a lot of them on ThemeForest or Bootstrap template uh, websites. Probably the most popular recently is admin LTE, free one. Uh, if you want to choose a paid one with a lot of functions, there's Metronic, which I really recommend and work with. But in general, they're all based on Bootstrap engine. So whatever you choose, you work with Bootstrap and your task here is to apply Bootstrap to the Laravel Blade files, which is usually time consuming because you have to not only strip HTML, CSS from that uh, theme, but also go file by file and, uh, and strip those HTML, uh, HTML pieces into Blade files in Laravel. So you have to create your partials, your navigation, your um, the things you want to include, the whole structure of it. So that's pretty manual and I guess uh, I guess it's the most time consuming step of it all. Step five uh, is kind of a part of front end thing. Uh, you have to take special care of your menu items. So for admin panel you for example you want to administrate your companies, contacts and any other kind of data. So you have to have menu item for each of them and not only that you have to take care of the permissions uh, usually it comes with middleware or it, it might be a default middleware like auth or you can uh, create your own one but anyway you have to restrict your menu items to only those who are logged in. So that's step five, menu and permissions. And now we go into creating actually those menu items. I call them CRUD. And CRUD stands for create, read, update and delete. You can call them menu items, I will call them CRUDs. So to create every CRUD, uh, there are 10 steps. So we have step number six and there will be 10 sub steps. So step one is to create database migration. In our example, I will use uh, companies case. So you want to administrate companies with only one field called name. So we have a lot of artisan commands inside of Laravel. Uh, the most useful ones will be used here. So make migration is the first one to use. So you create company stable and then you fill it in with uh, that functional schema create and you list all the fields you want. So that's step one, migration. Step two is you generate your model. Again, this case will be pretty simple, but you run make model uh, command. The file is generated for you, but then you fill it in with the usually fillable fields. In our case, it will be only one fillable field it's called name. So that's step two. Step three is you have to uh, assign your menu items uh, to routes. Uh, in routes file, you just add uh, route group, or it, it might be already there, 
and then you add resource to the company's controller basically which will take care of all of your CRUD operations which leads us to step four which is controller so we generate controller again with um, awesome artisan command uh, don't forget the, the option uh, dash dash resource and then it generates controller with the main CRUD uh, methods index create edit store update and destroy so for now it's just a simple empty controller but we now have it assigned to the route and to the menu item what's next step five is let's go to actually the building stuff building the visual stuff so first is list of the companies of course so for the list of the companies we have to take care of such things index method in controller uh, index view in the blade files and what I recommend third thing is to use a library called data tables.net which takes care of your table it makes it searchable uh, you can choose what column to to order by you can choose how many entries to show and that all is happening in JavaScript without reloading the page so that's really useful and free to use and easy to use so by by then by here we have uh, our index view with list of the companies step six of the CRUD creation is to actually create uh, the entry for that again several things here create method in the controller create a blade file in the views uh, yeah that's it two two things uh, probably uh, here you would have uh, for every CRUD you will have separate folder like in resources views uh, and then folder maybe subfolder admin if you want and then for example you will have a folder companies and then uh, view files index and create by here step 7 is to actually use that create functionality from the backend and store our data after filling the form again two things here First is request, a request uh, which would basically be your validation mechanism. And then that request comes as a parameter for the method store, as in here. So in request, you just uh, put your validation. What, what fields do you want to validate? What is required? What is optional? Maybe some other rules. And then in controller, you have that store method, which then redirects to the index again. Step eight is similar to step six, uh, just with edit stuff. So you edit the entry, again you have to have edit method filled in controller and then edit view file. Uh, here you can use, some of people do use partials for the fields. So for example you have create blade file and edit blade file, but they both include fields.blade, which basically use the same fields and the same logic. But it depends, I usually don't do that. Uh, because sometimes in edit file there's different logic, different fields. Some fields are editable, some are not. But if you prefer to do so, feel free. So that's step 8, edit view. And step 9 is similar to step 7, is update functionality. Uh, update method in the controller and update request. Here you might use the same request if the validation is totally uh, identical. But if you want, for example, to uh, to have some fields uh, required in create method and some in update you might create separate requests as in here as an example an update method in the controller again it performs the update uh, thing and then redirects back to the index and finally step 10 we have to take care of the de deleting procedure deleting mechanism so in your blade file you will probably have the form uh, form which would post to uh, to the controller which would actually point to the method destroy on controller again you perform destroy method uh, perform destroy action and redirect back to the index so that's basically it about creating CRUDs and what do we have in total we have around 15 steps or you can count it differently there were some sub steps uh, and not only that you have to uh, multiply that by the amount of your CRUD uh, actions and amount of fields per CRUD because my example is really simple it just takes one uh, database table companies one field and I haven't really shown uh, requests files so it's really simplified version of that so in general I would say it would take you 
hours or days to, to generate all the admin panel. Which leads me to option two of our presentation, uh, which I will kind of advertise our tool called quickadminpanel.com. Uh, which will uh, allow you to do that thing faster. Not only faster, but much faster. Let's see how it looks. Step one, you register online at quickadminpanel.com and you just name your admin panel however you want. Just create a project, basically it's a name, whatever you want. And then you have a CRUD builder. In CRUD builder, you can create CRUDs visually one by one and you will see all the menu items appearing one by one on the left. How it looks, the CRUD builder. Step two, um, you create CRUD title. You can generate API for that. There's a chat box there if you see, and then you add field by field. The same case as an earlier one field, field type text. There are a lot of field types like text area, email, chat boxes, radio buttons, relationships with other CRUDs as well. So yeah, a lot of field types. Then you choose the database column name and then the visual title before uh, which would, which would show in blades, uh, sh uh, choose validation, whether it's required or optional, and then choose whether that field is uh, shown in list, in, in blade index basically, in create and in edit blade files. And then you create CRUDs one by one. And then you see that table. So table of CRUDs, in our case, it's only one CRUD uh, yet. You can create more. And then on the right hand side, if you can see there are two buttons, view files, and download files. Basically what's happening under the hood is Quick Admin Panel is generating Laravel project for you. Full Laravel project with controllers, views, models, requests, uh, routes and everything that you need. So we can view those files at any time. That's what happens when you click view files. You have a file viewer basically with list of uh, files that you need and you can click on any file and you can see the content of the file, the, the code. And if you prefer, you can copy and paste that into your uh, project locally. So you can view any files, but probably the most important function and the most useful function is to actually download the files. So if you click download files, you receive, you download an archive, which you then unarchive and see this. So this will be the final result of the quickadminpanel.com, the final Laravel project which you then copy and paste to your folder that you prepared locally or on your server, wherever. And then all that you need is to create .env file uh, with your database credentials, then run composer install and run migrations. And that's it. And then you can use it as your admin panel with, uh, with pure Laravel code, without any packages, without any syntax to learn. It's just pure Laravel. That's quicker, isn't it? That's much quicker. Instead of 15 steps or more, there are only like three steps. So I totally recommend quickadminpanel.com. And there are some additional reasons for that. Uh, there are additional functionalities which we'll expand later. You can choose field options by type. For example, for text areas, you can use Siki Editor. Then there is API Generator function, which I've shown briefly. And then there are plans to expand. At this moment, 5.3 isn't released yet officially, but as soon as, it is, as soon as it's released, we will update that. Then there will be more settings and probably we will take care of test generator. And there is another th thing to mention. Uh, usually, I won't lie to you, QuickAdmin Panel is not the only generator on the market, but other generators come with, uh, in form of packages, which you then have to use the package uh, learn their syntax, learn the documentation, and then that package leaves the traces. Usually it's some classes you have to extend. Uh, in this case, in Quick Admin Panel, you have pure Laravel code as a result, and you just use your visual generator. So that saves time and leaves clean code. Our approach is a little different than anyone on the market. Basically, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the tool. I hope you, you will use it. Please register at quickadminpanel.com uh, or I will recommend you to read our blog at laraveldaily.com. Thanks for watching. That was me, Paul Veloskorov from Laravel Daily Team and see you on the internet at any time. Cheers.